How you doing, Grayson? Doing good. Man, it's another solid performance by the bench and you guys coming off and with all the energy. What this says about the growth of your team, and do y'all have a nickname for you guys coming off the bench yet, man? <laughs> uh no to answer that one first no we don't have a nickname yet we got to come up with one though um no it's just uh it, right now we're we're kind of we're playing as a nice collective unit right now and it's uh you know, we got we got some guys injured still so uh it's always been next man up and we just have a bunch of hoopers on this team it makes it makes it easy to just get different groups in there and just and just play and uh, we got a bunch of guys playing the right way. It makes it easy. John Coleman. Hey, Grayson. Great effort from you tonight. Uh, just something noted that's uh, becoming more noticeable on your offensive contributions. 20 points tonight, three from th or nine points from three. But it seems like you're really starting to get more comfortable getting to the lane, especially coming from the corner through the top of the key into the lane, getting shots, getting to the rim. Just your comfortability in the offense or the schemes really starting to play to your strengths beyond just your three point shooting, but developing your three levels of scoring when you're out there. Uh, yeah, well, well, for me, it's, uh, I'm, I'm going to be an over guy on the majority of team scouts, you know, as a, as a shooter, you want guys to go under so I can stop by and, and take the shot. So, um, it, when they're going over screens, as long as I'm setting my guy up well and, uh, getting a good screen, I should be able to get downhill too. So that opens up a lot of other things. Uh, getting downhill, getting to the floater, finding somebody in the corner for a shot or, you know, playing a two-man game with the big. And, um, you know, I think for me personally, just continuing to, to see this on film, continuing to see where guys are trailing me, where I can curl and get into the paint, get more paint touches will be a big thing for me. Evan Barnes. Hey, Grayson. So when the team is, is doing so well getting to the paint as you guys did today, one, what does that do for you as a shooter? But two, what does that do for you guys as a, as a group? Just, you know, knowing if you keep attacking the paint, not only are you guys going to get good shots, but it's the centerpiece of this offense, really. Right. Well, it, it puts a lot of pressure on the defense when you get into the paint because they, they have to make a choice. They're either going to help and, and bring extra bodies down there or they're going to they're gonna keep it a two-man game. And that's where uh, you know, guys on our team get into their floaters, get into their rim finishes, or play the two-man game with the big. Um, you know, after I after I hit a few shots in this game, Tyus and other guys were coming off ball screens, and there was no shift coming from my guy, and that leaves the paint wide open for them to just basically play two on two with a guy trailing, and that's a that's a spot any offensive player wants to be in. So, um, you know, the more we can get to that, keep getting downhill, keep attacking, you know, it'll open a lot of stuff up. Adam Tyke. Hey, Grayson. First of all, congrats on the win. Congrats on the 20 piece. You had a couple of crucial shots tonight, a lot of which seemed to come when the team was really needing a bucket to turn things around in the first three quarters. How much do you enjoy being able to take those shots when your squad gets in that position? Uh, you know, I, I don't I don't think about the, the time and score, honestly. Um, you know, I, I think I kind of fell into those shots tonight. And uh, I, I, I just had a mindset tonight to just be aggressive. You know, even when I was attacking downhill, it's not just attacking the score, but just being aggressive when I get the ball. You know, it's either it's either a shot or a drive to try to put some pressure on the defense. And I was able to get to my floater a few times, got a few drop offs to BC and, and X and a few kickouts for threes. It was just for me, just having that mindset of being aggressive, you know, and, and then the threes start falling as we start getting shots and start and start doing our thing and start playing in transition and that's where I'm going to get a lot of threes, but um, really just the aggressiveness with getting downhill kind of opened up everything else for me tonight. Thanks, Grayson. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, guys.